Brethren, I am the only faithful and discreet slave of my Watchtower Corporation. According to my latest studies in the pyramidology, I have found that it is urgent to keep on the watch because the end is near, nothing less for the year 1914. Oops, I screw up, nothing happened in 1914, but wait, we must still keep on the watch because the end is near around the corner, this time, with any doubt, for 1915. Oops, I fucked up, nothing had ended in 1915, this time I got the date, I can't be wrong. This spiritual meat comes from the same Jesus Christ himself and he promised to me, as the faithful slave, that the date will be for 1918. Just wait and keep on the watch, the end is at hand. Brethren, forget Charles Tice Russell, he was using satanic numerology from the Great Pyramid in Egypt to find his false dates for Armageddon, that's why he messed up. I do have, indeed, the correct date for Armageddon, we must keep on the watch urgently, because the end is near. This date will be for the fall at 1925 and it's indicated in the Bible, why more indicated than 1914. In the meantime, I will be waiting the Armageddon resting in my San Diego, California mansion, built thanks to your hardly work, selling my rainbow colored books collection house to house for years and for nothing. And don't forget to buy my new book entitled Millions Now Living Will Never Die, there I explain this 1925 date. Oops I screw up and fuck up as Russell, I made an ass of myself, but please give another change to hit the correct date for Armageddon. Yes, this time I found the exact date, and this will be for 1941, so brethren, do not sow the fields, do not get married, do not have children, and please sell all your patrimony and give it to the Watchtower Corporation because the end is near, and we must keep on the watch urgently for 1941. Dear brothers, the first two presidents of the Watchtower Incorporated fucked up very badly with their false dates for Armageddon. That's because they spoke words that didn't came from Jehovah God. Both spoke vainly. I am the actual and real true prophet anointed by Jehovah God to announce urgently to the world that the end of this system of things is near and that we need to keep on the watch for September the 5th, 1975. We expected the destruction of Babylon the Great and all the political systems of this world to occur, and immediately after the Millennial Kingdom of God to begin in the fall of 1975. Please, don't go to college, don't get married, and rather dedicate all your efforts to announce the imminent Armageddon for the fall of 1975. Try to sell all your assets and live with the product of it for the short time at last for the end. Remember, you never grow old in this system of things because the end is now on the corner, nothing less for the few next years that remains. Dear brothers, the light is getting brighter, and now we have the definitive date for Armageddon for 2034. We need to keep on the watch, because the end is at hand. According to this last brilliant light received by Jesus Christ, we found the interesting parallel with Noah's days in which only 120 years passed since the moment of the decree of the deluge was announced, and its fulfillment. At present it means 1914 plus 120 years of the parallels with Noah's days, that arrives us to the year 2034. In the book of Mark chapter 13, we find an account of Jesus' exhortation to his followers, that they stay awake. According to this chapter, Jesus compares their situation to that of a doorkeeper waiting for his master, to return from a journey abroad. The doorkeeper did not know the hour of his master's return. He just had to keep on the watch. Jesus referred to four different watches during which the master might arrive. The fourth watch lasted from about three in the morning until sunrise. On that final watch, drowsiness could easily overcome the doorkeeper. Reportedly, soldiers consider the hour before dawn to be the best time to catch an enemy unawares. Similarly, at this late hour, when in the spiritual sense the world around us sleeps soundly, we might face our greatest struggle to stay awake. Romans 13 11 a and d 12. Hence, in his illustration, Jesus repeatedly urges, Keep looking, 
keep awake. Therefore keep on the watch. What I say to you I say to all, keep on the watch. Mark 13 32-37 Many times during his ministry, and after his resurrection, Jesus urged vigilance. In fact, almost every time that the scriptures refer to the end of this system of things, we find the warning to stay awake, or to keep on the watch. Luke 12 38 and 40 Revelation 3 colon 2 16 14 to 16 Clearly, spiritual drowsiness is a very real danger. We all need those warnings. We live in momentous times when world events constantly remind us that we are in the final part of the last days. 2 Timothy 3 colon 1 to 5 Now is not the time to slacken the hand, but to keep on holding fast what we have. Revelation 3.11 By being vigilant with a view to prayers, and by cultivating faith, hope, and love, we will prove ourselves ready at the hour of test. 1 Peter 4 colon 7 We have plenty to do in the work of the Lord. Being busy in deeds of godly devotion will help keep us wide awake. 2 Peter 3.11 Therefore brothers, keep on the watch, be vigilant, because the end is near. In the meantime, while we wait Armageddon to occur, you can start getting rid of all your worth, giving your patrimony to the Watchtower Incorporated for the world missionary work. We need your jewelry, your cash, your current accounts, your testament, your life insurance, your stock shares, your pension, your real estate, your trust, your credit cards, etc. You must only be with what you carry in with you when Armageddon starts. If you do all these steps, you can ensure your salvation in the judgment day.